All right, guys, welcome to tutorial number four of the HTML CSS series. Now, if you ever want to draw a horizontal line in your web page, say maybe to separate one paragraph from the other, then we, may, we make use of the horizontal rule tag or the HR tag. So let's separate our heading from the paragraph. Now, after the heading, we need to include the HR tag. So HR, but here's an exception. Now HR tag is called an open or sorry, an empty element, meaning that there is no content that needs to be specified and hence there is no closing tag for the HR tag. Instead, after HR, we are going to have the forward slash and then the greater than sign. So when we go ahead and save it and reload it, then you can see this horizontal line that runs across your web page. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Now let's combine these two lines into a single into a single paragraph because they kind of go together. So why have two different paragraphs? So let me quickly remove this closing paragraph tag and then this closing paragraph, opening paragraph tag. So when we go ahead and save it and reload it, uh oh, the second line is back to the first one. Now, what we don't want is the two lines to be showing up in a single line. Now, when we want a break between these two lines, we make use of the break tag. So once again, this break tag is an empty element, so there is no need of any content or the closing tag. So after the first line, I'm going to be including a break tag. So BR for a break tag and then a front slash and then close it. So when we save it, go back to our web page and refresh it, then we have the show revolves around the second line after the first line, so they're not appearing in the same particular line. Now it is also possible to have this break tag within a sentence. So for example, let's say open a paragraph and then Ross and Rachel were on a, then we can have this break tag and then we can have a break. So let's close the paragraph tag. Now when we go ahead and save it and refresh it, it says Ross and Rachel were on the break. So it is possible to use the break tag within a single line as well. All right, everything looks good, but I don't want this paragraph to be you know, seen on the web page. I was just using it as an example. So what I'm going to do is comment out this paragraph so that it is not displayed on the browser. Now to comment any piece of code, we are going to start with a lesser than sign, an exclamation sign, and then hyphen, hyphen. And then where we want the comment to end, we are going to once again specify an, a hyphen, hyphen, and then a greater than sign. Now this is going to be understood by the browser as a comment. Now, by commenting, we are not deleting the code from the file, but merely not displaying it on the browser. And leaving comments is a good thing as it'll help others who are going to be working on the same website at late, at later point of time. And it is very easier to understand code with comments. So anyway, let's save this. If you go back to your web page and refresh, then the comment is hidden from the browser. Anyway, so that's pretty much about the HR tag, the break tag, and then about comments. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.